Hello, hello everyone and um, welcome to this session of awakening, spiritual awakening for those who, who seek understanding to be as wise as the universe itself and um, it is going to be impromptu and also very brief and we talk today about the tiny dot in the circle the tiny dots in that circle and it means different thing to different people but before we get on today we honor the universe for our villainous nature in which we exist in the universe we live in the universe we breathe in the universe we have our being we move around and we also procure the energy which is the ability to do things which some people call spirit we ask that while we are still active on this episode of life may we be active for great things may we be active for monumental task and may we achieve wonderful things that will avail the descendants who are coming after us to be proud of us and also pour veneration to us as we pour to our ancestors who are gone. Ibalarai <laughs> I will look at you, Rock Panama, or go salam solo solo salam. At Rijapa, at a fungetom, at a doron row. I want Baja Abia Marbo Jabor, Boro Chiffin, Pomacho, Budo Jabo. A white job, Jani Kafi, Mawa, came more fenyo, Jack, came more fino. I share Kori Ben, at about Korea to Berry, about Modia Tagba, about what you are saying, about Gia Tile, about your care, a focoyeri, a lapuri flower. Alapo ibi fa wan ti npe ti wa nebe. A she, kori ben, kodju she fun bobo wa nile lo ko lono le yin odim. Ka wo ma bara ye fo wati, ka ma je gongo ke yin eran, ka ma shori gbe, ka ma ji son fi aye, ka ma ta te asho agba mole, ka si ma shi oro so. Oro la solo ni ka ma soro so boto. A she, kori ben, we are talking about the tiny dot in the cycle. The tiny dot in the cycle. Who are the tiny dot in the cycle? Who are they? What are they? I want you to today, as human beings, Adari won a ya biti yanya aye tamatiye today to lessen your egos because I will take you on a brief journey of knowing what you are in the scheme of the universe. I want you to read yourself of everything that you have ever achieved so far. I want you to forget about everything you call success. I want you also to lessen your ego I don't know what you must have heard about yourself before. Today, as you listen to me, it's not the day where you attach anything physical as a sort of achievement to yourself. Because until you do so, you may not fully grasp or have an accurate understanding of what African spirituality truly means. And I'm taking you back into the days of the Asians when your ancestors exist on this plane. Only for those who are wise. Only for those who are looking into maximizing their episode in life. Let us start your life and how to live it by assuming or accepting that you are nothing. You came from nothing, you go back to nothingness. You are not the car that you've got. 
you are not the house that you bought. Your ego should not be inflated by the kind of friends you keep, family you come from, money, your bank account, the woman you married, the man you are in love with, or the children you gave birth to. Because I see a lot of us quantify our success and quality in life with things that is disappearing. Everything, once they escape the state of spiritual into the physical, they start to deteriorate. You are a good example of a beautiful deterioration. Look at your life now. Say you say you grow, you grow old. We use that phrase to only reduce the way you look at your mutation or your metamorphosis. You are dying. So every single year that you call people together to celebrate your birthday, you are actually doing what we call a passage right for yourself. You are becoming reduced in terms of tenacity because you are recycling yourself gradually. The highest state of your value is in before you were conceived and after you give up the ghost. Because before you manifested, either as a tree, as water, as air, as fire, as earth, as human being, as animal, whatever, the shape, your energy of the side. Because I speak today and I do not speak only to human, I speak to every single creature. Before you pop out to assume this form, this shape, doesn't matter how tall you are, how short you are, those are produce of the lineage which you came from. And those are absolutely not your choice to make. I am not tall because I choose to be tall. I am tall because the family lineage through which I came from, they have a genetic order that, I, that is tall. But my energy, which is my ability to do things, is not seen as a six feet four inches tall man who can speak. It is seen as a neutral state of the universe. So when mankind begin to now say my value is in the fact that I'm a man, my value is in the fact that I am a female. My value is in the fact that I'm an employee or employer or living abroad or living at home. They practically lose the focus of existing. I speak to the wise and I speak to all creatures. Once you begin to attach the value and the quality of your life, Life now, not in terms of numbers of days, numbers of years. Life now as a microscopic episode or moment in the timelessness called universe. Once you begin to attach value of the eternal running of things in the universe to the momentary moment that you've got, you have lost it. African spirituality brought us to the place of utmost humility. Not only when we need something from others, but because we are the very universe that we are reaching out to. I'm trying to make it simple for you. So, single Every single time that you celebrate what they call a birthday, you are celebrating a deterioration, a nearness to the grave, a transition into nothingness because you came from nothing, you go back to nothing. You are 
craving and longing towards that particular gravitational force that is called utter darkness that cannot be measured in time, in numbers, in money, or whatever it may be. If you have this singular understanding, how then should you live your life? It becomes an aberration and the, the basic display of folly for you to think that the universe is all about the earth. The earth is just one place of abode in the vast kind of planet that is habitable in the universe. Ibu Ibu bere Agba laye Inu agba laye Latin ribu bu aye kan Ibu bu aye kan re Ibu bu aye polo ni janti re re Everything that have a surface Is habitable You only need to apply the law of adaptivity Or adaptation To know how your Physical anatomy function In commemoration or co collaboration With the platform ibu gbe aye kan re ibu gbe aye mi nbe agbalaye la npe ni universe obiri si ni yo fi si waju yo tu fi se yin gba mi so you need to know that the fact that you erupted in this atmosphere called the earth this planet does it make you the most fantastic being or creature in the cosmos vast universe that we have you will notice the size of the old place where you call the planet earth when you are standing in the moon it looks like a grain of rice just tiny grain of rice. Illusion affects spirituality. Illusion affects spirituality. When you base your spirituality on what you can see, you will be taking 40 steps backward and four steps forward. Illusion affect spirituality and the moment you physicalize things you are unable to see them in their perfect state of existence all that African spirituality is teaching us is humility to calm down to examine and re-examine your position and only to man your own duty for the purpose for which you erupted in an episode of life because dispensation by dispensation life will continue without end So when you are standing in the moon and looking at the earth, it looks like a grain of rice. When you are standing in the mass and you are looking like the moon and it looks like a grain of rice. The sun that looks like one big ball in a football pitch today, when you go near it, you realize that a single black hole, there are trillions black holes in the sun. A single, one single black hole in the sun can occupy one million sides of the earth where you live in. Who are you, Gonsef? Who are you? What are you? Who born you? What are you? What will you be? That you think nobody can talk to you? That you think you are bigger than others? That you think you know better than others? That you think that you have graduated? The word graduation is the easiest way to deceive you into self-destruct. No graduation. Are you with me? If you are listening to me carefully and is sinking in, can I get a yes from you? So when you take a look at life effectively 
and you look at it from the spiritual angle you realize that things are not the way they seem unfortunately when we talk about spirituality the first thing most of you think about is somebody from your father's village your mother's village that is coming after you spirituality goes beyond you using it to repel attack it comes to you knowing your place in the universe what is your place now look at you now you tiny dot in the circle called the universe you have contributed nothing into the way the universe run nothing humankind only exists for destructive purpose nothing you are contributing nothing so we say nothing that you've got is truly yours it's not a phrase or a lyrics of a song it is the actual fact i am sitting in a car that was made from ions plastic that was dug from where from the earth i did not erupt with all these elements i met it here and i simply took and gave to myself humankind are constantly in the habit of disinheriting other creatures other elements for their own purpose you are not self-sufficient you cannot produce food you always take from the earth you cannot wear clothes you always take from the animals the very basis of what you call artificial intelligence that's why they call it artificial intelligence because it was taken from natural intelligence and none of you have a single contribution to natural intelligence yet you say that you are better than the animals animals that give food to you animals that clothe you sometimes animals even feed your children give them milks you will now look at animals and met them with cruelty and violence because you think you are better than the animals you must learn today how to respect every other element of nature african spirituality taught us this so when you see a babalawo or an african spirituality african spiritualist that engages in animal cruelty you must query their spirituality after all they have given to you you say you are better than the trees but look at the trees and look at yourself the only thing you produce is carbon dioxide and it's poisonous it is the tree that gives you oxygen but you will not think twice to cut it down so you buy a site you burn every tree there you cut them down you will put them you build a house on it and you crave for air the people of the ancient days they respect the universe the nature so much that they know that the very god they are looking for if any is nature itself so they call it natura nature and when they get into a place all they do is to only occupy the place that the earth has afforded them they don't go encroaching on the spot where trees have been so we have trees that have lived millions upon millions of years mankind cannot live a thousand years yes they would destroy everything that has preceded them destructive mentality now we are getting somewhere it is because of the destructive mentality you have permitted amongst you that even allow you africans to make the invaders come and keep coming 
to take away the natural resources. Those trees that you are selling to the Chinese were preserved by your ancestors. The medium through which you can make a perfect connection with your ancestor is to touch what they have touched, live where they have lived, speak to what they have spoken to, take from what they have taken from, what they took from, eat from what they ate from, and then you will be one with them and the wisdom that existed in them will exist in you. Everything your ancestors have touched that could serve as a form of link between you and them is in China, is in Europe, is everywhere. Yes, shame on us. Because we do not respect nature, which is the concept of God to your ancestor. You tiny little dot in the cycle. So when your ancestor get to it, They don't sand fill water so they can live there. They look for spaces around water and live there. They don't cut down trees so they can have shelter. They look for caves and stay there. It is out of respect. They are not animals. They understand that we didn't make this we must not destroy it. If any, we shall add to the value of the universe. Look at you today. You have the best technology at your disposal. You think you eat the best food, but you are the one that died the most. Look at the lifespan of people right now compared to the lifespan of your ancestors. What is it they did that you refuse to do? You tiny little dot in a circle. You are quick to classify and also declassify. You are quick to discriminate. You will say the white discriminate against the black. When you, human, discriminate against the trees, you discriminate against the animals, you discriminate against the location, you discriminate against the plants, you discriminate against the water. Everything that they zoom from you is filled with some of some form of hatred and pride and ego. Yet you be you you contribute nothing to this planet. All that you call civilization is plain chaos. And the very security you provide for yourself is now the prison in which you live. You wanted defense, so you created weapon of mass destruction. It could take millions of people to kill millions of people before, but now it takes one man to press one button and the whole world will come to an end. The whole earth will be destroyed. See what you have done. A very technology you think will help you. It's not becoming your undoing right now. All you know is to grab, to take, to rob, to kill, to destroy. There's any definition for a thief. Mankind is naturally prone to stealing from nature and the universe. You tiny little dot in the sack. How long shall you make your host regret having you around? And every time you do this, it backfires. You never learn. You continue. It is the tiny little dot in the circle that says, A God in the sky made them in his own image after his own likeness. This tiny little dot in the cycle said that it is the God who made them that also made the animals. But they believe they will go to heaven and animals don't go to heaven. They say they have spirit, they have soul, they have body. They forgot that in the absence of blood in them, they are dead. And if there is no blood in the animals too, 
it was or die. The blood of a tree is the fluid it gets from the earth. Without it, it will dry up. That the way the tree and the animals function is the same way the human function. And one, one creature is not more important than the other. That we function in the same skeletal way, in the same muscular way, in the same vein way, in the same fluid way. Mankind, you need to have a rethink. Once you bring yourself to this level, you begin to hear the voice of the animals, the voice of the plants, the voice of the wild beast. And then you begin to live in unison with nature. That is the only time you will say you have attained a level of spirituality. Mankind felt they can step on the earth anyhow. And from time immemorial, they have been making this error, doing this mistake, and they have been dying in their trillions, their billions. So sometimes the earth reacts with a volcano, the water reacts with tsunami, the air reacts with hurricane, the fire react with rage, yet they do not come down to think that all of these things they call non-living thing have accurate intelligence and emotion to behave exactly as a fellow creature like them. It is those who know the name of the earth that can send the earth a message. So we call it Ile Ogere. Afokoyeri, Alakbori. It has a name. It has a story. When we touch it three times, it works for us. And it begins to react the way we ask it. That is not an element without intelligence. The only daft, dumb set of people here are humans. Because you do not take it as a point of duty to familiarize yourself with your neighbor so when we say you love your neighbor as yourself we do not talk about humankind surely animals are your neighbors trees are your neighbor earth is your neighbor water is your neighbor how much love do you show them to we call water by its name we call air by its name we call fire by it, and they answer. When they answer, and we send them message, at that moment, we know perfectly that these are beings of intelligence. And so we don't go ahead to disrespect them, because you can stand before a tree and do whatever you have to do, and the tree will remember effectively what you have done to it. So the next time you approach the tree for its herbs and its root to cure your ailment and it refuses but answer to someone else, you should know that it is not because herbalism don't work, it is because you have hurt herbs. Intelligence. See, life is beyond what you know. Life is beyond Western education. The real meaning of university is the school of the universe. A lot of you go to these places called university to get certificate of slavery. You never really study the universe at all. The birds want to be able to fly in and fly out without being caged. If you need the sight of a bird and you love and cherish them so much, all you need to do to have birds around you is to give them food, not to cage them. You tiny little dot in the sack. If you need the compassion of an animal, no matter how wild the beast may be, all you need to do is to show some kindness and the lion will live with you as human.
and watch your back. We're talking sometimes, and I made people know that one of the most calm, gentle, and loving creature in this universe is snake. You can live in the same house with a snake for hundreds of years, and you would not know. It will respect your space so much that it will not dare to show itself. But the day snake sense danger, the day you ever see a snake and the thought of your mind is kill, destroy, the snake will react. The most poisonous snake can live and coexist with you peacefully. Snakes don't bite. Snakes protect itself. So when the intent of your heart is pure, wild beast will not hurt you, no matter how hungry they are. The language of the nature is kindness. You lack it. The language of nature is empathy. You lack it. The language of nature is inclusiveness. You lack it. The language of nature is awesomeness you lack it it is about you yourself and yours if it don't look like human being it is good for destruction within human being if it don't look like your color it is it is okay for destruction within your color if it if it doesn't look rich as you are it is good for destruction Within the richest kind of confinement, if it is not beating some record like you do, deal for this. One layer of discrimination after discrimination. How then can we trust you to understand your host, which is nature, and all that is in it? Wild beasts will not come out in a day. They will wait for you to go and sleep. They will come out in the night. You know why? Because they respect the law of peaceful coexistence. It is you that will go into their territory and begin to hunt them for food. Wild beasts, they don't come out in the day. They come down because they respect you. It is a show of kindness to respect people's space. Do you respect the space of the tree? Do you respect the space? Of the water nowadays you fill up the ocean to build houses you run away from the forest that has not been tapped into for ancient days you travel kilometers upon kilometers upon kilometers on the highway on the expressway you see lush land you see forest you see thick bushes that are so green to the point that they look black you will avoid them and you will go right straight into the sea and the ocean and you will sand fill it and you build your houses there. You are destructive. Very destructive. You tiny little dot in the circle. You the bad apple that messes up the rest in the basket. This is how we have been deprived of good health. Good health. This is how we have been deprived of longevity. This is how we have been deprived of natural intelligence. This is how we have lost it totally and fall out of our very host, which is the earth. Some of you will do anything to mess the atmosphere up. I do not understand the kind of creature 
that goes to cut trees down. Build up pharmaceutical company. Emit so much carbon in the atmosphere. And then sell drugs to people to get well. I do not understand. The kind of creature that puts so much waste in the drinking water then use so many chemicals to treat the water and give to people to drink. What is wrong with these people? The tiny little dot in the circle. We now must constantly understand that we as people we are the lowest in the echelon of creation that we as people are the lowest in the echelon of creation that there is nothing spectacular or fantastic about us. That if there's anything we owe our existence to, it is the very thing that we kill. It is those things that we violate their right of existence. It is those things that we call non living things. We do not have our own intelligence. We learn from the natural intelligence. Natural intelligence is the intelligence gotten from nature. The only thing you as mankind possess is the ability to know right or wrong. Everything called smartness, you learn it from nature. You should go to the school of bird if you want to create the best aircraft ask those who create planes of all time. you should go and watch the tiniest insect on earth mosquito if you want to know how to create helicopter so many warplanes you will learn from so many flies and create bomber craft to kill yourself the very insect you learn from were not using their own intelligence to kill each other kill on shame what is wrong with you nobody knew how to build a submarine until they went to learn from the fishes in the ocean you did not know how to. The fishes taught you the concept of submarine. The very thing that you learn from and the very thing that you hunt, you kill, you term as non-living and non-intelligent. You are able to create cars because you watch animals with four legs and their motorway and the way they, they move before you can make a car. And to today you have not made the perfect car that cannot crash. How many animals with four legs have you recorded that went to crash into each other? These things you learn from, they don't crash into each other. For you to know you are still very slow and low in intelligence compared to nature. What has humankind achieved that they did not learn from the so-called animal kingdom and the plant kingdom today you would not know how to build a structure if you did not learn from termites and ants you wouldn't you would not know what the concept of military arrangement is until you went to learn from the ants you wouldn't you wouldn't you wouldn't you were not equipped with all of this do you know your purpose on this planet? It is to observe.
reason for this episode of life and every so every episode of life is to observe and enjoy life and respect your neighbors I bakadara lo wa pada n gba kodoro en ti o si gba kadara yo gba karagbe na say what is the gain of a man on earth you try you do everything you sweat at the end of the day you still die you are not meant to try and not so impossible and all that it is a miseducation for you to try if you need to also for what you need you are looking for what you don't need. It is what you want you are looking for. What do you need a big house for? Except you are going to house, house others. What do you need two cars for? What do you need so much of this food for? Who told you it is a must to eat all the odd every time? The one in your system, have you digested it? You would 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 you see I'm going to tell you something about the animal kingdom today. Learn the elephant when the elephant move in their numbers into a certain forest. try their best not to fall a tree they try their best not to fall a tree i'm telling you something go and study animal kingdom they try their best not to fall a tree you know why when an elephant fall a tree It becomes impossible for them to eat out of the produce or the leaves or the whatever stems of that particular tree or the trees around it. So when an animal fall a tree here, when an elephant fall a tree here, by mistake, they will sign to all of your people. They have to move up to like 20 kilometers away before they start eating anything. You can confirm what I'm saying. You know why? Because the moment they fall a tree, either by mistake or by intention, every single tree from that radius to 20 kilometers become bitter immediately. They become outrightly bitter. Why? They are mourning the tree that fell. So it becomes unconsumable for the elephant. So what they do is to move very far away before the information spread to another clan of trees where they can take food from. If elephants are that intelligent, you, you, you who do not give a damn about if you cut down this tree and you will still you cut a tree down you pluck unlawfully from a tree you did not you did not seek for access before you take a plant from a tree today you now went back there tomorrow you are poisoning yourself i'm telling i'm telling you african spirituality so when they say baba Lawo went into the forest to go and take plants for herbs it's not because the plant and herbs are not nearby. He has cut from this place yesterday. He needed them to mourn each other, even though he took permission. So he will look further. He 
you will cut all the trees down you will do everything and you will still expect to be healthy when the trees are so intelligent the interconnectivity they mourn their fellow tree that fell so they become bitter in the mouth of the elephant so the elephant need to respect their day of mourning you humankind who call yourself smart you tiny little dot in the circle you need to sit at the feet of the sage of the wise one of the elders amongst you who understand the way of the universe and learn that you have been doing things wrongly all this while there is time for you to change your way and the time is now how respectful are you to the rest people in that cycle and then you say without me nothing can exist while you are still alive a plant will leave the earth and begin to grow on your ceiling if you think it needs your water it will disgrace you by growing on your ceiling if all you do in your home is just to sleep and wake up, you don't sweep, you don't do anything, right on your bed, plan to be growing right on your bed. So, if the ants are killed after 50 years, or let's say 10, the earth will start deteriorating. If the trees are cut down, humankind will die in the next five or seven years. If the earthworm, Ecolo, earthworm disappear, our world as we know it, earth, will come to an end. If the bees are gone, I mean, there will be no planting of trees and all that. 50 years we are we are all dead. But do you know that if you human beings don't exist on this plane anymore, this planet Earth will turn to paradise. If you cease to exist, you tiny little dot in the cycle, the moment you cease to exist, everywhere turns to Eko ma ma kebi eku eye wa ma kebi eye enko ma fo un bi on eran enko they will have so much peace they will flourish and they will not miss you there will not be anything in the history to remember you if there is an anniversary to celebrate you it will be that these valiants these destructions these destroyers these tyrant eventually left our atmosphere so you tiny little dot in the circle i ask you today what kind of dot would you be would you be that cancerous dot that spread its unhealthy cells to the rest of the circle and crushed out the whole system or would you be a good dot that's why I started by asking you to see yourself as nothing because that's what you are. It doesn't matter how many houses you got, how many wives you got, how many children. It is not an achievement. So you ask me, what is the greatest achievement of man? The greatest and one and only achievement a man can be proud of is to be one with the universe through the observation and utmost respect for nature. That's your greatest achievement. And it is the most difficult thing for you to do because you have been miseducated to be destructive in nature. Every cell phone you use is destroying something. The way you generate your power supply is destroying something. Your cars emit carbon, destroying something. 
industrialization concept is destroying something. You fight war, you destroy something. Your way of eating self, you destroy. Having destroyed what you took the food from, you even destroy the food with so much preservative and all that again. Why must you be so destructive? You see a water, you destroy it. You see any earth, you occupy it for destruction. Why? For how long? For how long? How long would you be like that? Learn from the universe. Learn from nature. Learn to stay still. Learn to be one with the universe. And start now. Don't walk by a tree around you without wetting it. The sacrifice of a tree is water. Don't go into a water and throw dirt in it. The sacrifice of water is cleanliness. Stop pushing carbon into the atmosphere. The sacrifice of air is lack of pollution. Respect fire. That's his own sacrifice. Remember always that you can use fire to cook a man's food and you can use fire to cook the man also as food. It is only then that you have achieved this level of understanding you can call yourself African spiritualist. Because nothing you have is truly yours. You owe nothing. You have nothing. You came from nothing. You go back to nothing else. Adara Fuyi. Ayaye Kale. Ewo ni dele ti ikun. Ewo ni guke toku. Ewo ni faragbawe. May you not set, up your, you set yourself up for failure. May you not set yourself up for ill health. May you not set yourself up for danger. May you not set yourself up for calamity. Ashe. Koribe. Ireo.